Now to one woman's struggle with weight. Jeanette Folda was 24 and 372 pounds. That's when she decided it was time to get serious about weight loss. To stay on track, she began blogging about the process. Now she's written a weight loss memoir about it. And Jeanette Folda is with us this morning. Jeanette, welcome. Hi. And congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to start off with a question I don't normally start off with guests. How much do you weigh now? I weigh about 180 pounds, and, and I'm five foot nine tall. And, and how, over what period of time did you come down from 372 to where you are now? It took me a little over two years to lose that much weight. Can we, you, you brought a prop here. I want to show yes. people this. This is... These are my old pants. This is what you used to fit into. Yes. Can, can you believe that when you look at that now? It's amazing how, how much bigger these pants are than mine now. And I can fit a lot more uh, clothing into my luggage now. And, and, and we're going to talk about how you did it in a moment, but, but has it been a lifelong struggle with weight for you? Oh, definitely. When I was in fifth grade, I had to fill out a survey for my class, and one question was, what is one thing you would change about yourself? And I put, I would be thinner. So it's something I've always struggled with. A, a lot of people struggle with it and have those kinds of thoughts, but they can't seem to cross that barrier. What provoked you to, to finally decide to get serious about weight loss? Well, when I was 23, I had a gallbladder attack and I had to have my gallbladder removed. And I thought that would be the, the real impetus to do it, but uh, I kind of just sat on my butt for a while. But my brother then lost a lot of weight, and that kind of inspired me to think maybe this is something I could do. So in January of that year, I decided to, to really make a go at it, and I really dedicated a lot of my energy just to that project. Right, and you wrote about it, and, and what's interesting and what makes your story extraordinary is you didn't use a traditional diet. Now, of course, you changed your eating habits. Explain to me what you did to lose that kind of weight. Well, I did sort of follow uh, just a basic diet of eating more lean meats, uh, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, uh, stuff like that. So no junk food or really refined foods. And, and then you also blogged about it. Now, being open about it and, and kind of putting it out there, did that help you keep on track? Because it's one thing to start changing your eating habits, but when you start telling the world this is what you're doing, does that help? Oh, yeah. And my blog, PastaQueen.com, I started that because I'd spent a lot of time ignoring my weight problem and trying not to think about it. About it, but I, at the blog, I was really accountable, and it was sort of like working through my issues. Uh, like it was kind of like therapy, really. But web hosting is a lot cheaper than a psychiatrist, right. and I also got a lot of support from people. I know. And you I, would do weigh-ins. You would you would put oh, here's yeah. where I am today. I would do it every week, and I, you, I really did not want to put a, a higher number on there every week. So I, I had real motivation to keep going down. And do you still post it. on there? Yeah, I post usually about once a month now. And, and does that still keep you? Because I'm sure you know you know we all have food issues that that you're tempted. So Sometimes does that again keep you on the straight and narrow? Oh yeah, definitely. Knowing people are watching, you know, I post there regularly. I post my weight once a month, but it, it definitely keeps you on track. And, and what do you say to people who feel that they have to maybe uh, resort to surgery or follow a very strict? Uh, published diet. What, what is your advice to people? Who I think everyone's body is unique and everyone needs to find what works for them and works in their lifestyle. Sometimes that might be surgery, it might be a, a diet recommended by their doctor, but I, I think everyone, it's a personal decision that everyone needs to work And, and back to what you said, you, you we had surgery. This is not just an appearance issue, it's a health issue. How do you mm -hmm. feel now? Oh, I feel great. Uh, I was able to walk all around New York yesterday and uh, I didn't have to get a seatbelt extender on the plane, so I, I feel great. Things, and, that, things that count for a lot. Oh yeah, and I, I I ran a half marathon last weekend, and my mom was there at the finish How'd you line. Do? Oh, I did great! So happy Mother's Day, mom! <laughs> All right, well, listen, Jeanette, congratulations! You look oh, thank great. Thanks you. for sharing your story. All right, and my book uh, can't say the name, but it's half something. <laughs> well, okay, it's half something. <laughs> it's in stores. <laughs> and when you look it up, you'll find out. Oh, yeah. All right, All right Jeanette, thanks. We'll be right back with a special Mother's Day treat, but first, these messages. <laughs>